I don't know why they just gave up. That was a little silly. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more gameplay. Now before we jump into this, I do have to remind you, please subscribe. Now is the perfect time to subscribe to the channel because if you do, you're entered to win a free Innistrad Crimson Val bundle. We do have that giveaway going on right now. There are also four other platforms that if you follow, join, subscribe on, uh, you're actually entered to win on five different platforms. That's going to give you the best possible chance of winning that bundle. Now all the platforms including YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, discord and twitch are linked down below you can check that out there we also do have a full article on our website that gives you all the details winner will be announced on november 24th i believe that's the wednesday after the actual sets release we do also have new patreon rewards out as you saw at the beginning of the video which are on point i love them but let's talk about today's deck guys we are jumping back into delver i think this is like our third delver deck since midnight hunt released uh in standard um and this might be my favorite. I've only practiced with it a little bit, uh, but so far it seems to be the one that makes the most sense. Uh, this is Demir Del Delver, so you can fully expect we've got a lot of control elements, uh, but I'm actually gonna talk through the creature package first because it's a really good one, in my opinion. Uh, so we've got Delver of Secrets, obviously a full four. If you don't know what this is, this is a blast from the past. OG Innistrad brought this to us. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 that, at the beginning of your upkeep, you can reveal the top card of your deck. If it happens to be an instant or sorcery, it flips into a 3-2 flyer. Now, the optimal turn to play this is obviously turn 1. If you can get this down, flip it on turn 2, you've got a 3-2 flyer on turn 2 that you only ever invested 1 mana in, which is, like, ridiculously efficient. Um, hopefully, we can make that happen at least a couple times throughout this. So, Delver of Secrets is going to kick us off, but we do also have Siegemore, which which another really nice card from Strixhaven that cares about instants and sorceries. So anytime you cast one, you create a 1-1 one, one black and green pest creature token that when it dies, you gain a life. This is just a nice way to spread the board out. That's something that we have seen in the past with things like Is It Delver and Modern, things like that. Util utilizing things like Young Pyromancer, which kind of has the similar ability. It just every time you cast instant or sorcery, you get to throw out a little 1-1 one, one creature token. This is very similar, but I'll, I'll, I'll say more expensive, but I think for the right reason. It's definitely a stronger card in general, at least in my opinion. Uh, now, in addition to that, we have the Poppet Stitcher. Um, it's a 2-3 three for 3. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token with Decayed. Now, Decayed's very interesting. We do have to make a decision there as if we want to attack with the zombie or pile them up, because if we pile them up and you control three or more creature tokens, you can transform the Stitcher, and at that point, it becomes an artifact that says creature tokens you control lose all abilities, have base power and toughness 3-3, three, three. and then at the beginning of your upkeep, you can choose to transform it back if you, if you would like to. Uh, now, generally, that's something we're probably just going to keep the pressure on with, but if you need to spread the board out, we've got that option for us. So that actually handles all of the creatures, but as you can tell, we've got a lot of instances and sorceries to hopefully trigger all of these. Uh, and of course, Alron's Epiphany sitting at the top to hopefully give us some extra turns. We do have a little bit of interaction with Saw It Coming as well as Test of Talents, uh, but a lot of our, our uh, instants and sorceries are truly just removal. We've got Blood Chief's Thirst, Meat Hook Massacre obviously here to sweep the board if we can spread out damage we kind of just win whenever a creature you control dies each opponent loses one life we might be able to sneak a win off of that if we can get enough tokens out infernal grasp is in here uh and uh, memory deluge is here to help draw us some cards do also have consider to help with that and then fading hope to kind of get some stuff out of the way early so lots of interesting stuff in this list in the uh the man land slot we do have hall of the storm giants uh just the absolute powerhouse uh man land in my opinion and then of course field of ruin to kind of help deal with the opposing uh man lands as needed but it's gonna be an interesting one guys i really do like this deck i hope that we can get at least a couple wins to really showcase what this can do 
I don't have a strong opinion on how it sits in the meta yet, so we're gonna just see how it goes. Let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into game one. Let's see how we can do. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. This is just about a perfect hand for us. We can lead off on the Delver of Secrets. We do have the Consider and the Blood Chief's Thirst. Now, we do have some tapped lands, most likely coming down turn two, but I think we can manage with that. And truthfully, we don't even have to do that now because we've got that swamp. So what we can do is Blood Chief's Thirst, then consider if need be, but we'll see what we end up getting here. Uh, obviously gonna decline, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And I think what we're actually gonna do is power this out a little bit. Let's see what we can make happen. I am going to go ahead and kill this. We don't particularly want them to ramp. We also kinda wanna get in for an attack here if we can. Uh, and we do have so much removal in this list that at some point the hope is that we can kill whatever comes down. Uh, but I do want to be as as mana efficient as possible. Uh, oh, perfect. Okay, so we get to reveal both of these, transform both. There we go. We've got those uh, absolutely powerhouse cards here. And we just get to attack in. Uh, now... The nice thing about this, we are all at instant speed here, so we can actually just kind of wait and see what they want to do. Now, if they had something like a snakeskin veil, yeah, this does kind of get us for a turn, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Let's go ahead and see if we can kill it. Looks like that's not a problem. Uh, and let's see what the opponent follows up with. A Seeker's Chariot, sure. All right, let's go ahead and consider. Uh, we are going to put that into the graveyard. We don't particularly need that. And there's the Meat Hook Massacre. That is quite good for us um all right so let's throw this down let's go ahead and get an attack in here uh and chances are we're just gonna infernal grasp now uh maybe not now we'll see we'll see um the nice thing is we can meet hook massacre for two and start dealing some after we attack and kind of just deal the rest of the damage that we need to deal uh at least hopefully we'll, we'll see obviously but that's kind of the goal uh, there's Werewolf Pack Leader, a fantastic card, but one we can deal with, actually. Not terribly worried about that. Um, okay. Let's see what the opponent wants to do. Alright, um, actually, no. Let's resolve this first. And I guess we just kill the Chariot, right? We just kill this now before they have a chance to really do anything with it. We do take two damage, but they don't actually get anything extra. And there we go. We got the win already. You can see how powerful this deck can be. We're actually going to rank up here as well. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into game two. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And let's see what we can uh, make happen. Now, this is a bit of a slower hand. We don't actually have a whole lot going on, but we do have some draw spells as well, some interaction. I'm gonna try it. We can lead on that ice tunnel just to make sure that we've got both colors of mana. Does come into play tapped, which is not ideal, but we can make that work. Um, perfect. Okay, that's actually okay with me. Uh, the question becomes, do we want to do anything yet? And I think the answer is no. I think we can just pass. Uh, and then pre-combat, we can actually do something on their turn since we do obviously have quite a number of instants to deal with whatever they do. Um, Curious to see if they play anything out here or if they just attack. Um, kind of hoping they uh, play something out here so we can kind of get them here, but that's okay. We'll see what they do. Wow, okay, they are going to do it. Uh, that's hilarious. Um, so what we're going to do is actually just go ahead and bounce this. We're just going to slow them down a little bit. We do get a scry off here. I don't particularly want that field of ruin, so I'm going to just scry that to the bottom. And look at that, that's just about perfect. Uh, now we can throw out the Stitcher, uh, which I think is not, I mean, it's a good play, don't get me wrong, but I kinda wanna leave this stuff up here because they are trying to play multiple spells a turn, and if we can just throw the Stitcher down, that's fine, but they're probably gonna gain a lot of value that's gonna be difficult for us to truly deal with. Uh, and so it seems better to just kinda wait and let things go here. Uh, we can Infernal Grasp this, and then theoretically we'll see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and kill the Clarion Spirit. Now, they do get that trigger. They've got the 1-1 one, one here, but we did actually uh, deal a little bit with what they were trying to do. All right, let's go ahead and throw out the Stitcher, and we'll pass, leaving up a Consider. Um, don't have a super aggressive play here, to be honest. We'll see what we can do, but um, at least we've been able to answer most of their stuff so far. 
Uh, now they do have some some scary stuff in these mono white builds, so I am a little nervous about what we could hit here, but we'll see what happens. All right, they're gonna go ahead and learn. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. It's gonna create our two two. Truthfully, I'm going to decline. Uh, I think we want that Delver because that does give us a flyer long term. We'll see. Um, that may not be correct. I don't know. But we are going to draw that plus another card at the start of the turn. So I feel like it might be worth it. Um, also, guys, just as a quick reminder, uh, I mentioned it at the top of the video and you did see. Uh, oh, really? That's awesome, actually. That's kind of fine by me. Um, to portable hole a decayed zombie doesn't seem great. I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. Um, anyway, uh, Patreon. Uh, every month we do release new Patreon awards. Those uh, digital altars that we do, those new frames, those fun things that we hopefully get to throw out there. Do we kill this? Oh, they're offering this up. Uh, I'm actually okay with killing. I know that's kind of silly, but I think that that might be the right play. Let's throw Delver out here. Um, hmm. I don't particularly care about that, so I think I'm just going to pass. We get to leave up Consider here, and the opponent just gives up. All right, we'll talk about Patreon in a minute. I don't know why they just gave up. That was a little silly. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. So far, so good. We are really not that far into the video either. We were going to go for 20, 30 minutes, so we'll get a, hopefully a couple extra games in. Do we keep this hand? I think, yes, we can. Uh, it's not necessarily great, but I think it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and throw out the consider first as an option, and then we can leave up Infernal Grasp next turn. Uh, so as I was saying, excuse me, um, we do have new Patreon awards that come out every single month. That's a really nice way of thanking everybody who, uh, I think we just take that action. We've got plenty of removal. I kind of just want to dig further into the deck here. Um, that's a really nice way for us just to say thank you to the Patreon, uh, people who subscribe to us, who give us a little bit of extra monetary gain every single month. That's a really big deal for us. We are a very small channel. Uh, and so having that extra little, uh, push makes a huge difference. Uh, and so I just want to say, uh, truthfully, thank you so much. Those, uh, those digital altars are really, really fun to make. Um, we obviously don't own the artwork, so please don't ever consider us the, like, sole owners of that. That is clearly not the case, but, uh, it's really important for us to say thank you and give you guys something that's a little bit more, um, like, a physical thing. That's important to me. I don't want to just say, like, ah, oh, we'll release new videos for people subscribing on Patreon. That doesn't really seem genuine to me. We're gonna release videos anyway, so why in the world would I just say we'll do more videos? That seems a little odd. Um, so that's where I think it's nice to have something physical that we actually get to send you every month uh, as a thank you. And so if you would like to subscribe to the Patreon, please don't feel like you have to. I don't want anybody to feel that way, but it would mean a lot. It really, really would. So please consider it if that's something that you are interested in. If not, no worries at all. We're going to keep doing this content all the time as best we can. So no worries. Just wanted to throw that one out there uh, because we uh, obviously it's the first of the month. We get to do new rewards every time. That's always a fun time. So let's Blood Chief's Thirst. Let's get uh, this guy out of here. We get our 2-2 Decayed Zombie. Uh, let's go ahead and foretell... Uh, and I think we'll just throw this out. This is going to leave up Saw It Coming plus Infernal Grasp, uh, and we'll just get to attack him for two here and pass. Uh, very curious to see what this deck is. Every time I have seen In Search of Greatness played, it's not been that great. Um, I generally have tried a few different builds with it, and it just doesn't seem to work out as well as I'd like. Uh, that's not to say it's bad. I think, generally speaking, it can be quite good, but... I have not had great luck with it, so I'm interested to see how this game actually plays out, and if it works, that's great. Good on the opponent. Uh, I've not had that ability before, so uh, very, very curious to see how this goes. Uh, we definitely just counter this. Um, my assumption is this is a Renin 7 style deck, um, and so we're just going to counter everything we can and hopefully not let them be able to not let them do too much. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and eventually, I am going to just go ahead and attack in here. I know that we're uh, losing out some of these zombies long term, but I think it's kind of okay. Um, and maybe that's not the, the right way to play it, but 
it is what it is. We do have Solid coming up plus Infernal Grasp now, so whatever they play, we can counter one thing and kill another. I mean, I'm feeling okay about our position. Uh, do I want to counter that? Yeah, I think I will actually. It's not a super exciting card, but it does equate to another creature later on um, that I just kind of don't want to have to deal with. Um, it is a mana sink for them, which is also kind of important, it looks like, in their world. So they're just a big old life gain deck, it looks like, which is fine by me. Uh, lands life gain. Perfectly fine. Um, don't get why In Search of Greatness is here, truthfully. <laughs> it doesn't seem that great at the moment. Um, looks like they're going to Field of Ruin. I mean, that's fine. Doesn't really help them that much. Uh, if anything, it kind of helps us deck then. <laughs> uh, so I'll take it. Happily take it. Um, they just kind of want to get more lands out, I'm sure. All right. Uh, the question is, do we want to Infernal Grasp that? I think I will. It gets us an extra token here, and we do kind of want to get as many tokens as we can. Unfortunately, that's just a land. That's not super exciting. Um, I'm just going to attack in with the the Stitcher. I kind of want to see if we can get um, a third token at some point here. Now, lands are not helping us in that regard, so hopefully we can make something happen. All right, there we go. Uh, that's what we were kind of expecting, um, so that's fine. I assume they're going to Field of Ruin the Marsh or the Pathway. Again, either way, this is... Helping them gain life, but it's also helping us deck then, because we've got answers on top of answers in our list, so I'd kind of rather them do this. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. Uh, they do gain some life, sure, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, and resolve. Eventually, they run out of things, is my guess. Um, we could Field of Ruin their Field of Ruin. I'm kind of okay with that. They get to replay it if they want at some point, but I don't, I don't particularly care. Um, let's see what they do. They're going to Field of Ruin the Clearwater Pathway. That's fine. Again, this is all just to force the issue so we can deck then. <laughs> uh, I don't particularly care that we lost our Field of Ruin. We've got plenty of land that can play anything that we draw. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Um, all right, well... We're kind of just getting unlucky here, unfortunately. We're not drawing anything but land, uh, which is a little sad. Um, I did play the, the Marsh out here, by the way, because they're going to play this Field of Ruin and they can hit the Marsh, which then allows us to get our last basic land out of the deck. This is all just deck thinning uh, to hopefully avoid this issue that we keep uh, unfortunately having. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out there. In hindsight, playing the Infernal Grasp on the uh, Innkeeper, probably a bit aggressive. Uh, my goal was to try and push for any kind of spell that we could play the following turn and then hopefully flip the Stitcher. Um, but we didn't get there, so that's just a misplay or a... I mean, you can call it a misplay, you can just call it a... I don't know. A, a, the wrong line, maybe. Um, we're not going to block here, we're just going to let this happen. That's fine. They're going to draw some cards. Um, sure. There's a Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, that's not great for us. Uh, next turn, it can kill this, actually. Um, so I think the play is just to attack in here. We got to keep the damage going at least a little bit. Um, the zombies go away, of course. That's kind of okay. Um, curious to see what this actually does now. Still just scrying. I mean, Scrying is good. The In Search of Greatness, by the way, has scried almost every turn this whole time, which is great for them. Uh, but in general, it just doesn't seem that great. Okay, Meat Hook Massacre is going to be really good here. <laughs> um, there's the Renin 7, sure. I assume they just throw out the Big Daddy, uh, in which case we probably are just going to end up losing. Wow, they didn't. That's interesting. Uh... Definitely would have just thrown out a big card, because Bait Hook Massacre is so prevalent nowadays. Uh, it seems like that would be the obvious choice, but hey, that's fine. Uh, it just means we get to kind of kill everything. Um, there's Toski. We take five. Uh, and we're about to annihilate this Scoot Swarm. swarm. Ooh. Um, does that change things? I think it might. Um... 
Yeah, I'm gonna just throw this out. Let's take an extra turn here. Uh, and let's see what happens. I'm all too happy to attack here. If they want to block these, that's fine. I don't really care. They're just going to block with one. That's fine. All right, now we take our extra turn. Um, I will transform this. That puts us up a good bit further. Uh, they don't have Field of Ruin available, so let's throw this out. Let's attack all of these here. Uh, that's just gonna happen, so we get rid of Renan 7, which is really helpful. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just gonna do this. 4-7, which is gonna sweep the board. Alright, cool. So we gain a good bit of life, they lose a little bit of life, and now we're kind of back into where we started. Um, but they do have a Toski, they also have just the Elixirs, which are kind of gaining them so much value, it doesn't matter. The In Search of Greatness is scrying every turn, like, it's gonna be a tough one. I don't know that we're gonna be able to make it happen, but that's okay. It is what it is, we can't win them all. Uh, this has turned into a very good game, a much longer game than I expected, uh, which is kind of funny. But that's cool. Um, that Meat Hook Massacre play was quite helpful, though. And again, we don't have very many lands left in our deck. I mean, we obviously had the Field of Ruin, which is kind of frustrating, but that's fine. Um, we obviously don't have a basic land, so that's fine. Memory Deluge would be quite helpful right now. In my opinion, I think that might be the best card we could draw. Uh, just to be able to refill our hand a little bit here. Um, Alron's Epiphany wouldn't be bad, just to be able to, you know, replay, get an extra turn. Uh, I will transform this. Seriously. Why? Uh, I'm not even going to play it. That's just giving them fodder for their land drops, so I don't particularly want to do that. They only have 24 cards left. I don't think we can we can get them. They scribed to the top there. That's pretty bad. This just allows us to block the, at least the Toski. All right, that's definitely us dead, I think. Um, unless we can draw a Meat Hook Massacre. I doubt it, but if we can, that'd be great. This is a really cool deck, by the way. Um, I'm honestly just impressed we were able to hold it off this long. Um, good game. I think they do just win here. Every time they gain life, they get us. Um, but I'm going to make them do it. I mean, might as well, right? Um, this might do it. I think it does. Yeah. All right. Opponent got us. I think exactly. No, they had one left. Well done, opponent. That was a heck of a game. Guys, we do have a little bit more time, though, here. We're going to go for one more. Let's see if we can do it one more time. All right, guys, here we are for our most likely final game. Uh, and do we keep this hand? I actually think we do. We've got a lot of, you know, fading hope with uh, Saw It coming. We've got the memory deluge to refill. We also have both colors of mana. I think this is worth keeping. Um, and let's see what we can we can make happen here. There's their hall. Uh, we're going to play our hall. Um, now, we do get to leave up Fading Hope and or Consider, excuse me. Uh, so depending on what they do, we may be able to make something uh, or, or draw a little bit further into our deck at the very least. All right, cool. Um, I... Mm, I'm going to decline only because... If they, I don't know what kind of creatures this deck is going to have, if any. I'm going to pass here as well. Uh, we're going to leave up the Infernal Grasp. I doubt that that's worth it. Um, it might have been more worth it just to leave up the Solid Coming, or uh, foretell the Solid Coming, just to cheapen up next turn. Um, but no, it looks like it will be worth it. Um, there is no creature in our hand. Um, so... I'm just going to let this happen, and then we're going to Blood Chiefs Thirst that. I don't think we need to, to do anything else, so it's kind of fine. Um, Bulky is a very, very scary card, though. Uh, that just means to Bolt is an option for them later on, and that's always a little scary. <laughs> so we're going to have to keep that in mind. Um, there's a Test of Talents, too. That's quite helpful. Um, what that allows us to do is counter an instant or sorcery. Uh, and then remove all instances of that instant or sorcery from their deck, which is just like kind of perfect. Um, I'm going to leave it up here. I'm going to just pass. 
that's such a good card against a deck like this, which is most likely a very heavy control list. Um, I think our only play is really just to foretell this. It's going to cheapen that up for us if we need to. Again, we've got Test of Talents, so we have two options available to us now uh, between that and the Solid Coming, uh, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and Test of Talents this. Let's get it out of there. It's going to exile them, which is, again, very, very helpful. Uh, let's take a quick peek. They've got Volky. What are you? Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, is that Xanathar? They do have Xanathar. Good to know. Good to know, but we're going to exile all this. Uh, they still get the one, I suppose, but that's fine. And they did open up, like, we now get to see their hand and that kind of stuff, which is great. Um, this is going to be a very slow game, is my guess, uh, which is fine. I mean, we'll see what they can do. Sure, uh, we're going to go ahead and Memory Deluge then. Put two of them into our hand. I think it's this one. And I think it's Test of Talents. Test of Talents seems very, very good against them. Uh, and so I do kind of want to make sure we've got that available to us. Uh, they've got tons of removal in their hand, which is annoying because it does get around with the Siege War Witch. It is going to give them an out, but they only have three lands. Uh, and so they're only doing one thing per turn here. Um, do we want a Fading Hope? Uh, yeah, I think we do just kind of want to set them back as much as we can. Um, I'll put that on the bottom. We kind of just want to get interaction, I think, at this point. Or land. Sure, why not? Um, oh, they stole it from us. <laughs> well, now wonder. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna throw that out and pass. This leaves up Test of Talents or Solid coming, uh, which my assumption is they're gonna try and remove something here. <laughs> uh, the question is, how do we want to do it? Um, I'm gonna just Solid coming. Maybe that's incorrect, I don't know. The reason being, I don't want to give them an extra card. They're sitting on, like, very few land drops here. Uh, and so I do want to make it difficult for them. Um, I'm just going to attack with this for now. Um, yeah. All right. So now we can test of talents and not give them a card is kind of my thought process. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to do. This is also going to give us extra tokens. So like, yeah. <laughs> That, I feel really bad. Okay, we'll talk about that in just a second. Oh my gosh. All right, I feel kind of bad that last game. They only had three lands the whole time. They could have had a much stronger fight had they gotten a little bit more. Unfortunately, they didn't, and we did take advantage of that. I think playing the Solid coming before the Test of Talents and not letting them draw an extra card might have been helpful. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea what they would have drawn, so could have been useless. But regardless, I think that was the right play. We definitely handled it, I think, fairly well. We did lose one game, but we got three wins. And this is by far and away, I think, the strongest Delver deck that I have seen so far. Now, I know there's an Azorius Delver deck. I know there's a handful of other options that you can run with Delver. And I'm curious to see how some of those play out still. Uh, I also am very interested to see with Crimson Vow coming out how all that works together as well. So we'll see. Uh, but regardless, I... I really like this deck, guys. I think this is fun. This is definitely the strongest Delver deck I have played. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe if you're not already, guys. It really would mean a lot. Leave a like on the video. And again, remember, we've got a giveaway going on right now. You can enter. You can hopefully win a free bundle of Crimson Vow, which would be really, really sick. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I cannot wait to see you guys again in the next gameplay video. I'll see you guys then.